Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we are going to be going through the date add function in Tableau. So the data we are working with today is going to be referencing a field called date in our data source. And let's get to it. So let's say we want to add one month to the date field and have that as a separate field so we can reference month over month values or some use case like that. What we're going to do is create a calculated field and we're going to call this date add month plus one. So the syntax for the date add function is as follows. Date add and your date part is always going to be a day, a week, a month, a quarter, or a year. So let's say we are doing month for this example. We are doing month is our date part. The interval is going to be one and the date is going to be the date field that we are referencing in this calculated field, which is the one I'm highlighting up in the top left. So I'm going to put date and click apply. And I'm going to convert this to a string just for the sake of this video. So now we can see the original date right here and the month plus one. Let's just add it right here. So we can see that we have our original date is 511 and the next date is 611 so on and so forth it's always adding one month to whatever date it is referencing for that row so i've created a table here using a couple different examples so we have the date add function in this column right here referencing the original date in this column on the left so this function is adding one week so this is what a week looks like. And it is just adding a week to the date there. And this is what minusing one week from the date it looks like. This is what adding one day looks like. So we have 512 correlated to 511. And our month is the one we just made. So let's just do one more here for year, and we're going to call it date add year. So we're going to create a calculated field year plus one. And how we're going to format this is same as before date add, the date part is going to be year wrapped in single quotations, not double quotations. Our interval is going to be one and the field we are going to be referencing is the date and I'm gonna click apply and let's convert this to a string and add it to the end of the table so now all of these dates are 2021 instead of 2020 so now we see these dates are in here as daytime daytime field so it's also got the time of the day so there's a function in tableau where you can split the data let me show you really quick so if we do not want it to look as sloppy we are going to just use this month column where we added one month and what we're going to do is we are going to right click on any cell and click split and what this does is it splits it into three different parts even if it's registered as a string we can see the year right here the month right here and the day right here so I hope this helps, and I hope this really helps you guys using functions in your viz. 
Please like and subscribe for more content. I'm going to be making several videos on the date functionality within Tableau. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel.